Turkish UAVs are deadly high-precision technology weapons in modern wars. Turkish UAVs who wrote epics in Syria, Iraq, Libya, and Nagorno-Karabakh have been branded in the global media. The global newspapers and news outlets praised Bayraktar TB2 and NKS UAVs, produced by Turkish defense industry. Turkish UAVs are not getting off the global news headlines, global news media have written the point where Turkey came. Turkey has become one of the globe's most prolific drone users, relying heavily on drone systems to demonstrate its prestige and power. The advanced technology that attracted the burden of the Turkish army was the armed UAV Bayraktar TB2, developed by Bikar. TB2 became a deadly high-precision technology weapon with up to 27 hours of flight time and a 150-pound carrying capacity. The Tyanka is a family of unmanned aerial vehicles developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries for the requirements of the Turkish Armed Forces. The basic NKA is classified as a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle. The unmanned aircraft can conduct a range of missions such as real-time intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, communication relay, target acquisition, and tracking. The composite structure of NKS integrates an indigenously developed fully autonomous flight control computer to provide autonomous waypoint navigation and flight control. The autonomous system also enables the UAV to automatically return to the predefined location in the event of loss of communication with the ground control station. The synthetic aperture radar, SAR, inverse SAR, ISAR, and ground moving target indicator, GMTI, radar on board the UAV are used to detect, identify, and track stationary or moving ground targets. The NKS variant is fitted with a modified radome structure incorporating Viasat VR-18C High Power Airborne Satellite Communications sitcom, antenna, which provides secure, high-speed beyond line of sight BLOS, communications. With a payload capacity of 200 kg, the NKS platform can carry a range of mission-specific payloads. These drones played a crucial role in Turkey's ambitious plans to extend its power to the region and support key allies. Turkey has deployed drones to Syria, Libya, northern Iraq, and the Caucasus in recent months and has used drones to defend its claims over energy resources in the Mediterranean. Turkey has also been involved in the Libyan civil war, adding drones to what one UN official called the world's largest drone war. The Turkish TB2S supported unrecognized government of national reconciliation, UMH, against Haftar's the Libyan National Army. Turkish drones changed the course of the war, helping UMH capture large airfields and hit supply lines. On the back of the success, Turkey also became involved in another major drone to drone conflict in 2020. Armenia and Azerbaijan fought for air superiority over the disputed territory of Nagorno-Karabakh in the South Caucasus, while Turkey supported the Azerbaijani army. On November 10, 2020, Armenia agreed to surrender parts of the disputed territories and allow Russian peacekeepers to guard the redrawn borders. Turkey's actions are emblematic of a broader trend in international conflict, countries are increasingly relying on drones. Turkey's growth in the role of playmaker in a short period of time has repercussions around the globe. One of the most important trumps of Turkey, which intimidates with its advanced technology, is, of course, its dazzling drones. The escalation of drone threats in the West Asia will have several implications, global news media reported. The first is that countries like Iran and the armed groups it supports will be able to enter an arms race that is increasingly engulfing everyone against the United States and its allies. Another is that China, Russia, and especially Turkey are leading the way in new smart drones. This is a development that the United States has not taken into account. That's why the US has made progress in the sale of 18 advanced MQ-9B Reaper aircraft to the West Asia front. The war machines in question are armed drones used by the United States on secret battlefields in Iraq, Syria, and Afghanistan, as well as Somalia and Yemen. Like clashes between Azerbaijan and Armenia in Nagorno-Karabakh, the most recent clashes in the region have shown naked what an army using drones can do against the enemy on the battlefield. The combination of the technological power of the Turkish drones, 
which almost alone decided the fate of the Nagorno-Karabakh war, with unprecedented war tactics, greatly affected the world public opinion and even led to some panic. Military and defense experts from Israel, Britain, and the United States have said they recognize the importance of drone technology led by Turkey after these latest conflicts. As the U.S. gets used to its place and looks more carefully at foreign policy, it will become important that it takes into account the need to increase support for counter-drone technology and work with partners to examine these growing threats. The Congress had already secured support in 2018 to combat drone threats with Israel. Since then, the technology has expanded rapidly, with new types of drone herd technology and new lasers, microwave weapons, and radar capable of hunting drones. Today's battlefield requires more futuristic film technologies and fewer old-fashioned bombs and rifles, even against terror groups. Experts also highlighted the extent of the threats posed by this technology. But these are not the first accolades about Turkey's drones, a pioneer of the next generation of advanced technology. After Turkey's successes, the states began to take a step to avoid falling behind in the race. Before Britain, in Greece, which was panicked by Turkey's moves in the eastern Mediterranean, the media discussed how to stop Turkish UAVs. Greek media reported that Greece would purchase UAVs from Israel and establish a drone base on the island of Skiros in the middle of the Aegean Sea after the Bayraktar TB2S broke new ground. The analysis, published in Greek media, included the following statements regarding Turkish UAV technology. The recent wars in our region, in which Turkish drones play a key role, have rightly alarmed military analysts around the globe. The threat in the Nagorno-Karabakh war has been around for several years and we have seen it in the conflicts in Ukraine, Syria, Yemen, and Libya. Our losses on the front line have decreased thanks to advanced Turkish drones belonging to the Azerbaijani army, Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev said. These planes show the power of Turkey, and this strengthens us, he said. Modern fighter jets are undoubtedly very expensive, and the risk of their pilots dying or getting caught in an accident is just as worrying. Drones are much more cost-free and versatile vehicles, especially in small-scale battlefields such as Nagorno-Karabakh. The low efficiency of unmanned aerial vehicles against missile defense systems and anti-aircraft missiles, the high cost of both the natural destruction of information, control, and armament systems requires the development and implementation of special measures in order to neutralize. Turkish UAVs are very difficult to stop, the following steps should be taken as soon as possible, the creation of special air defense units with various types of short-range portable or built-in missile systems and anti-aircraft weapons. Upgrading, modernizing, existing anti-aircraft guns to improve efficiency against small air targets. Development of advanced anti-aircraft weapons for the purpose of detecting and hitting small air targets. Development of special equipment based on unconventional methods and new natural principles. Military measures to deal with information and control systems to reduce the effectiveness of enemy drones.